Hey guys, so I am so excited to share all of these awesome things with you guys today. I've got so, so, so much to show you. This is something that like really happens. This is like my second time filming this because I, a lot of times, I know I don't look perfect in videos and a lot of times Laurel don't care, but I had tried this new palette that had like some peachy colors in it and there was like an orangey color and I was like, yeah. And I looked back and I was like, I can't, I just, I absolutely can't. So I feel like I, I've got some good things, some bad things. As always, I like to share with you what has been my go-to for the month. I'm gonna share with you all the makeup that I've been wearing the most, um, some new discoveries. I'm gonna share with you some fashion-y type things. A new bag that I really love that I talked about a little bit, but I'm gonna compare it to the other size that I have for you guys and, and then kind of show you what's inside of it, what I have in it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay. So, you guys know that I mentioned this like crazy last month, the Trish McAvoy Lash Curly Mascara. It's one of those that is like a tubing mascara. So, you know, it comes off with warm water, um, like in, like you pull it and it like stretches out, it comes off like in a big piece. It doesn't dissolve um, on contact with water or transfer anything like that with heat or sweat like regular mascara. So it's really, really ideal for the summer. But a lot of you guys mentioned that uh, L'Oreal made one too. So quickly, I just wanted to mention I did try that this month, and I don't find, I don't, I wouldn't repurchase this just because I don't really like using two-sided things. I feel like this isn't going to last as long because there's not as much product in here. Like all together there might be, but if, you know, you're using them together and you, you know what I'm saying? It's just not as much, but it's not very dramatic. It does work uh, the same. So if you're curious about these tubing mascaras, you may want to try this and just see um, how you feel before you splurge on the more expensive ones but it is a good option but it's not very dramatic so it's kind of more natural and lengthening uh but try it you know if you are curious about that but like i always look at it i'd rather you know i mean these are about nine or ten dollars at the drugstore and if you like it you're just gonna end up spending ten dollars more than if you would have just bought them. i don't know i will mention these quickly I did end up getting another color of those Kate Spade little studs. I have them in black as well. I got them in the pretty iridescent color. So um, check those out. I really, really like them for the price. They are just really beautiful and they come in all different colors. And if you love stud earrings like I do, then you may want to check that out. And I've been loving this new necklace from Bobble Bar. And like I said, it looks like a piece of like actual like fine jewelry. It's really pretty. It's not like a fake looking gold and the stones are really pretty. Um, so I've been loving that as well. So in a tutorial and a different video, I don't remember, uh, over last month, I mentioned these, which are the Miracle Cushion, the CC Miracle Cushion by Lancome. These are so unique. So the idea is that, you know, they come in different, just typical color correcting shades and you use them like a primer. So I was using the yellow one, I believe, in that video. It's got, you know, green and purple and I had never really used purple color correctors before but oh my gosh this is the most beautiful like it almost I don't almost didn't want to put on foundation afterwards it was so pretty so it's in a small little compact you open it up and it is it's just the most beautiful shade of purple it's just a beautiful lavender and um, I use a little sponge and you just dot it and I just you don't use a lot of it so you know, I don't think you'd run through it very quickly because you just use a dot and put it just in the areas where you'd prime or need color correction and then you just dab it in and it literally is like you're, it's like nothing. It color corrects and it gives you like a smooth base but it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel sticky, it just is so, so perfect. So definitely give these a go. If you have problems with redness, the green one would be amazing. I just, I love, love, love the purple. So um, if you're kind of curious about it and you don't know what color to get, I would say get the purple. It's so, so good. I was so, so excited to try this thing. It's the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick and um, I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it. Spoiler alert, I do. It's what I'm wearing today. It's not super intense. It doesn't look powdery or anything. It's just beautiful. It doesn't have like fleckiness, you know, like glittery or chunks. It's just really, really pretty. It's not super greasy. Um, it blends really nicely. I really love it. I even put a little bit like right there too on my, like right below my brow. It's so good. It's just kind of like shaped perfectly to put exactly where you need it, but I, I really love it. Oh, and then you can kind of put it sideways if you want it to kind of, you know, put a little bit um, right at your nose. But 
what I do is I just put it right on like I showed you and then I just kind of make sure that there's no lines or anything or you could put it on your fingertips and put it on you could take a sponge and blend it out whatever but I would definitely try this it looks really really natural and it's a really cool highlighter um, the blush that I've been using the most is an old old blush um, that I recently got some new ones and it's the Benefit Dandelion I have it in a tiny little size too which is in here um, not adorable anyways so I remember when I got my first one years ago, I'm talking like when they very, very first came out, when they very, very first uh, released this. I think I was in high school or college. I were wearing it so, so much. It was like my go-to. And now I can see why. It's what I'm wearing today. It's just so pretty. It's just a very pale pink blush that's very like brightening. It's glowy. Uh, and they say, you know, you can use it all over as a brightening finishing powder, especially now with like all of the hype around like highlighting products and stuff. Um, but it is a blush. I don't think I would put it all over your face. I just don't see why they tell you to do that. But I do like break the rules and um, sometimes I put a little like right there. That's the only place I would put it. Like I wouldn't put the pink powder anywhere else because it would be a little too pink I think. Um, but this is really the only blush that I've reached for this month and I've really been enjoying it and it just makes you look healthy uh, without looking like you've put on like a ton of of products um that is a let me put that with my don't like so I'll show those last um I guess I'll mention what I've been wearing a lot I well today I didn't really my eyeshadow just kind of whatever and I haven't really been into doing like really complicated eyeshadow or even like colorful things these though have been at my most warm. These are so cool. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks. And this one is in Bleached Out Beige, and this one is in Cream Filled. And so exciting because they have a actual flat white one, which is called Flat White, which I love. So, um, if you guys remember, I was used to use the NYX Milk. And this one, the actual, like, what am I trying to say? Like, the formula of these. So, so much better than those like they're like I said they're waterproof they won't crease and stuff but I have been using these lately and um, they have a lot of really good colors they have a lot of really out there fun colors but I love that they've got such a range of natural ones and this one is um, bleached out beige I'll show you in a second and then cream filled which is a little more golden but um I don't know if you can really see those but bleached out beige and cream filled so I really think those are fun and I love, love, love the formula of these. So definitely check those out. Um, much better than like the old MAC shade sticks. Like the color range is really good. They're very creamy. They don't like drag around. They're very, very good. Where lip stuff is concerned, um, I've been wearing this a lot. It's what I'm wearing today. It's the Tarte Lippy Lingerie in Exposed. Normally I don't like these that kind of smell like minty. You know, like these Tarte... Uh, pencils like this or you know lip pencils but I do really like this color it's very thin it just feels really nice and um and I do like the color and um, I usually just use MAC World lip liner but it's in my purse most of the time I use like a liquid lipstick like if I really want some color or I just use um my World lip liner and that's it my World lip liner and some lip balm or just lip balm. So, I mean, it's, I don't really use a lot of like actual lipsticks unless if they're like liquid lipsticks or they're just like really kind of dry, like the Charlotte Tilbury ones that are just gonna like stay. The lip balms that I've been using, again, the Sarah Hap Lip Slip, love. And then I've been trying this one. It's the Lancome Absolute Precious Cells and it's the Nourishing Lip Balm Honey and Rose. And it does, it smells like honey and rose, but it's just kind of like, whereas the lip slip is a little more sparkly, this one doesn't have anything in it. You can wear it at night. It just feels really good. So um, it's a bit of a, a splurge for a lip product, but it's kind of like in that whole Precious Cells like skincare line, which I think is kind of fun to have something special for your lips. I'll let me bags really quick. I'll talk about what I don't like at the very end of the video. We'll say like the worst for last, right? Okay. So if you saw my last vlog, I talked your head off about my new bag, which is the Alexander Wang Rocco bag. So soft and comfortable. I just love the way that it looks. I love the strap. You've got to just get what you like. Like knew after getting the mini Rocky that maybe one day I would get this one. I remember when these first came out and it was like the it bag like several years ago. I was thinking like, whoa, that looks super edgy. Like 
but I love how it's just a balance. You know, I was even afraid when I bought my mini Rocky because I bought it in like a, I'll show you, it's kind of like a rosy color. I thought like the black would look too hard or it would just look too weird with all the studs, but it really, really does and it's so pretty. And they are very heavy. You're going to like be like weightlifting <laughs> when you carry this, but I don't care. The handles are so soft and this is so soft that you really don't, it doesn't bother you. I mean, if I pick it up, I can feel the weight, but if I'm just like casually holding it, it's just comfortable, I guess. So I'm really excited that I got the big size. Like I said, you know, it was a really trendy thing and after a while I thought, well maybe, you know, I just kind of forgot about it and then I got the mini one and I thought, do I really want to, you know, but you've got to just get what you like. I had a comment where someone saw this and they were like, you're taking such a step back with that bag, like blah blah blah, you've got like a Chanel bag, you've got like your Air Mods. and I'm thinking, no, like, I'm not getting this to impress anybody and it's not where I get my status. It's like a freaking handbag. Like if I want to get a 1099 bag from Target, then I'll get it if I love it. You know, like who cares? Um, but to me, this is like super nice. So I don't know. People are just like way too impressed with handbags, but and people may think I am because I like them, but I could really freaking care less. I just like what I like. You know, just like what you like. If you can get a message out of this, like what you like. Don't worry about what anybody else likes. Get what you like. Um, I really like this, so I just, I'm really thrilled with it. Like I said, I got it for an unbelievable price. And I think my exact one may be sold out, but they have it in the rose gold, which mine is the pale gold. I don't think that one's on sale though, but they had it in, I think, black with matte black. Maybe a gunmetal one, I don't know. But there were some different colors that were on sale, but still, even if it weren't on sale, I think I could justify it because I like it so much. But I wanted to tell you guys about a few different things as far as like the size. Okay, so this is like the Rocco. It's very big. I mean, it holds a lot. To me, it does. And this was my first one that I got, which is my mini Rocky. And you can see mine, um, you know how people were, and there's nothing in it. You know, people were saying that it's kind of hard to unfold them. And yes, mine was like folded in for a long time. A girl the other day said like a tin can. And yeah, it like literally they'll be like flattened in. And you can see this one. Um, it's how they fold them, I guess, when they're, you see this one's still like that. But this one's so soft and floppy that that, that should fall out. Um, but this one's so small and like thick and that it, it definitely takes a little longer. But I just loved this one so much that I thought, you know, maybe one day I'll get the black one or I'll get a bigger one. So there is the Rocco, which is the big one. There's the Rocky, which is the medium one. And then there's the mini Rocky. I decided I would get the Rocky because I'd heard they were really heavy. I know this one's pretty heavy just for it being so small. The so leather's really thick. You've got all that hardware. So I bought the Rocky and honestly, it was not any different than to me. It was like I couldn't justify having a Rocky and a mini Rocky because you might as well just carry your mini one. You know, it wasn't like you could put that much more in it. It just didn't seem like it made that much sense to me. I thought, if I'm gonna get a bigger one, I need to just get the bigger one. And I ended up getting the bigger one for cheaper than the Rocky because it was on sale. So, um, so yeah, I, I would definitely recommend this one and the mini. I don't know if I would get the regular one. I don't know if I would get the Rocky. I think, um, I think these two sides, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It does hold a lot and I guess I'll do like a what's in my bag really quick since this video hasn't been long enough already, right? Let me do the things that I don't like. Okay, so I don't like the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. At least the ones that I have. I have pretty much, I have most of the colors and I guess what it is for me is that they're not bad products. It's just that I'm not into creamy lipsticks right now. Like I said, I'm going to use, I think the liquid lipsticks have just ruined me. Like for, for the good, like I like them. Um, they're so good that regular creamy lipsticks just kind of smear around. like I don't want to waste my time you know and this one is in back talk just to show you like I said I have all the other ones but this one is a comfort matte and it's very um not matte at all it's very creamy and um I wore it the other day and it's it doesn't even like it doesn't set like it doesn't change you know at first I thought well maybe it'll get more matte no it doesn't um, not bashing them, like I said, it's not that they're a bad product, it's just I'm not into that right now. I don't really like the packaging either. Maybe I'm just be. I hate having to like grip this tiny, you know, I feel like that's awkward. Like when I'm going to use it, how you have to, I don't know, maybe I'm just funny about stuff like that. But, um, but they're not my favorite and I don't really get the hype around them other than that they've got a good shade range, but so does a lot of other brands, but 
And then this is another Urban Decay product, which I swear is not intentional. I love Urban Decay products. Go get you some of this. This is the best stuff ever, the makeup setting spray, the all-nighter. Um, but the 24-7 lip pencils, I cannot stand. They, I tried them in a bunch of different colors, and they all are very sticky. It's like they... I, I swear to you, I'm just gonna bother with MAC lip pencils. And there's some Lancome ones that I like. I just... I, had, I do have some good ones in different brands, but they're just dry. They go on really well. They set. They don't do anything like crazy. They don't dry out your lips. They don't smear off. These are just like lipstick. Like they're sticky. You know what I mean? And so not my favorite thing. Um, and then a concealer. The Born This Way and I use the Very Fair shade. It's beautiful. You put it on. The shade is perfect. It looks so pretty. And I thought, yes but it creases like crazy and it settles like in your pores and stuff and I tried to use just a tiny bit um, it just did not work for me so I don't think I can use that but those are the things that were misses since I talked about this bag I'll just quickly show you what's inside of it I guess I guess I could do a separate what's in my bag video but whatever um, we're here now so we'll just do it okay so it holds a lot I think first this is my wallet and it's fairly new you guys probably have seen it a few times on Instagram um, I did get it from fashion file and it was pretty much like brand I mean it was in brand new condition when I got it I got a good deal on it and it's the um, the boy flap wallet and it's just the perfect size it's not really big it's not really small I could probably put more stuff in there uh, but yeah it holds a ton 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 I just find that I, I don't think I like wallets any bigger than this anymore. I sold a lot of my old ones, even ones that were fairly newer that I had gotten that were bigger. I just feel like while I love those and they're beautiful, I'm just not using them. So that worked out. I have my Soap and Glory hand food that I love, my Honest Hand Sanitizer Spray in Lavender. I really prefer the just original one, but the lavender is good. I have my MAC Fix Plus uh, face spray, which I have decided, I love the Urban Decay one, like right when I do my makeup, but if I'm like refreshing my skin throughout the day, I just love the original Fix Plus. It's just so, so good. I used to have one and I think they still sell them, the tiny ones, like little on the go ones. That's what I need to get for my purse. Um, I have a diaper. <laughs> That's Olivia's. I'm going to do a toddler favorites video soon. How is she a toddler? It is so sad. Like, it's so crazy that she's growing up. Um, I have a little snack bar of hers. They're the little Sunny Days, Earth, Earth's Best organic little snack bars. Um, I have a little book. She loves these little books. Mickey Mouse ones. And she has, like, some frozen ones and all different ones. Our little baby Aider sunglasses, which are the best. The, this little thing that I keep my keys in, love. Actually, the Chanel one is big enough where I have gotten my um, my key out of here and just put it in there, and it works works just fine. Um, but I still carry this around when I have the room in my purse because I love that one. I have my little. This is a good little thing. It's a little mini cosmetic bag I guess that's what it's called I don't know pouch mini pouch usually I have a pack of wipes but I just ran out so I need to get some before we leave um usually I have a little pack of like water wipes in there this is a really good little bag for your purse sometimes my friend and I were talking about it the other day because she has one too and I was like yeah like I feel like I need something bigger because I always end up like stuffing it and won't that be cute it's like a kit it looks like something Olivia will like love one day one day probably soon it's like she's oh, she's growing up so fast but I keep it cleaned out, you know, I, I feel like I don't need any more than these things, but um, I've been loving this, this piece of cake, uh, juicy shaker, which I guess should have been in my favorites. And I finally come out and I'm just kind of touching out. This is what I use. Love this cuticle oil, the L'Occitane. It's just so good to have. It has a little brush on it. And um, we've all been out with like ratty cuticles and like wish you had something. The Buxom Kimberly and the uh, YSL Nude Carrot, which I repurchased that before. I love it so much. And the Too Faced, Too Faced, Too Faced, why do I always say that? Primed and Poreless Powder. And um, I use this little Laura Mercier puff with it. But this is the best pressed powder because it doesn't look like powder. It just looks like nothing. But it gets the shine off your face, uh, but looks like skin. And then I have my little um, Chanel mirror, which I really like. I have my Whirl Lip Pencil, which is like a must. I have a couple of these little hair things, which I should probably use now because I washed my hair last night and did not dry it, so it has like no product in it. And um, I didn't put anything in it this morning. I just kind of thought, let's just film. Who cares, right? And now it's like driving me nuts. 
and then the Rouge Cocoa Balm by Chanel. So it does hold a lot. Uh, and I think to myself, if I got something bigger, I mean, then I would just have less space in my handbags, you know? Um, but this works really well. It's a handy little thing, and they come in all the different uh, canvases. So I hope that you guys had the best month we did. I really hope, I really, really hope that you guys are happy and that you're having just a wonderful time doing whatever you're doing in life. And I, I love, love, love sharing all of these things that we're interested in together still with you guys. It's just so fun. And um, yeah, glad that you've been enjoying the vlogs. I'm still doing that. We're gonna have another one of those coming up soon. A lot of cool things coming up in July. I hope that you have a wonderful and safe holiday weekend. Happy 4th, everyone. Love you so much. Thanks for spending the time with me today. I will link everything below, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.